Alright, what is up YouTube? James back here and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Backtrack Battles. Today we have a Mega Gardevoir team with a Rock Grenade, Tapu Koko, High Dragon, Nognadel, Hitmontop, and let's just get started already. So, I've been using this team a lot, I just can't feel it. Like, I don't know, I just really, really am not feeling Mega Gardevoir anymore. Whatever love I had for it for 2015 is gone. I know I don't run much special attack in Gardevoir, but I feel like a Mega Gardevoir needs to run a lot of physical defense, or you're either going to run max speed, max, max special attack, and I really don't like that set because it's so fragile. As we find our first opponent with Gengar, Gothitelle, Como, Tapu Lele, Scrafty, and Tapu Koko. Oh, this just does not look fun. Oh, man. This does not look like fun. Okay, I'm gonna go Gardevoir, Coco, Naganadel, and hit on top. Yeah. I think that's the most solid from what I've played against. Because I faced a lot of Como, Gengar, Coco, not Coco. Gang. Oh, wait, there's no Whimscott. I faced a lot of Gengar. Como. I've also faced a lot of Whimsicott. I've been facing like the same teams over and over again. So I'm still not sure. I feel like my best play is to go for the speed type. But even then, like I can still lose the game pretty easily just because of like Como. But this one doesn't have a Tailwind option it looks like. So let's see. My opponent actually leads Como. Which is amazing for me because I just threaten him with a Gleam here. Unless you have max speed Sky Drop and you root. <sighs> So I think I just Gleam plus Hyper Voice here. I mean, I don't think there's a reason not to, right? It catches everything on my opponent's team. Uh, Gengar could come in, but it's taking a lot of damage. I think Gleam plus Hyper Voice is solid here. I'm surprised my opponent led this. Maybe didn't expect a double Fairy lead against like a Gengar. But right here, I'm not in a bad spot because I just Gleam plus Hyper Voice here and I get the KO on Como if it decides to stay in and not protect. And I get a lot of damage on the Coco slot and probably pick up the Knockout. Although maybe Como protects and maybe sack Coco and try to get in a better position with like Gengar. Maybe hope he win the Speed Tie. <sighs> that could happen. I think it comes down to Speed Ties no matter what I do, so. Como's going to protect, that's fine. Unless this is Electro Web Coco. No, it's just Volt Switch. I just Psychic that slot. My my hunch was telling like my gut was telling me to go for Psychic in that slot. Is it Lele coming in? It might be Scarf Lele. Oh, it is Lele. That actually works because Como can't set up against me. And I get like a bunch of damage on the Lele right here. So I get a gleam off. And a Hyper Voice, which should... That has to be Offensive Lele, I think. I mean, Hyper Voice... Yeah, that's Offensive Lele. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf by the team. I can just Psychic now. And Gleam. Ally Switch doesn't help my opponent. There's not much that helps my opponent in this position. You have to be Scarf. That's just it's gonna be forfeited. Okay. I guess it wasn't Scarf Lele, and maybe my opponent didn't have a shot. Or maybe it was Scarf Lele, and even if my opponent like had Scarf Lele, maybe thought, oh, I can't win this because maybe the terrain screws me over. Because, one, I waste my Z-move there. If I do Z-move, I don't have a switch in against my opponent's team. Because that's like Gengar Como in general. Like, the teams don't really have good switch-ins. Like, you have to play... You have to get the leads right, and even if you get the leads right, you have to make... Very, very perfect plays, I feel like, because, like, the lead can just be so fragile. As we find our second opponent waiver from Germany, 1495 rating, but, yeah. That game was really short. Oh, boy, this is one, okay. Azumarill, Charizard, Amoongus, Landis Varian, Escadrill, and Tyranitar. I don't have a good matchup against... I don't think I have a good matchup against this. Although, I think Hitmontop plus Gardevoir does actually a lot of work against my opponent. So I'll go with that. Wonder if I should bring Coco. Zimmero could also be annoying. Like, Amoongus is a really annoying Pokemon for me to deal with in general. It's just hard to handle. 
I really like Hydreigon because Hydreigon can put in a lot of work, and I'm thinking Nagan Adele in the back. Or actually, maybe I should bring Coco so my opponent can't spore me. Which might be better in the case, since I don't want to get spored by my opponent. So I'm going to go with these four. I think Gardevoir plus Hitmontop is just a really good lead, because I could fake out Psychic pretty easily. I don't know if my opponent brings Charizard. This could be Mega Tyranitar too. Might be dual Mega with Tyranitar Charizard. Like Charizard I think has to be a Mega Evolution here. I've been playing so many games. So I hope I'm not overthinking this. So let's see. I'm not sure what Azumarill would be. On Japan Sand it's usually Assault Vest. Could be Belly Drum. As Azumarill Amoongus is going to lead. Okay. You don't ha know how bad I want to go for Helping Hand Psychic into Amoongus. Oh man, I, I'm going for it. Is this Belly Drum? I feel like it has to be. I really want to fake out Psychic, but I feel like if you're my opponent, you should double protect. Or Spore with Amoongus turn one. You know what, I'm helping on psychic -ing. The problem is I'm probably going to have to sack a bunch of Pokemon to get into a good position. I'm going to have to sack one of my Pokemon already to get rid of that Azumarill because it's going to be really annoying to handle. So helping hand goes off. Let's see if it's like a protect spore, which I'm hoping for. Or nothing at all, so I get a psychic off. I think my opponent went for belly drum spore here because it's like, oh, I either get a belly drum up or I get a spore onto your slot because you can't knock me out. Yeah. That's so difficult to deal with. Especially since I don't think Gardevoir can knock out Azumar in one hit. Let's see, what's coming out here? Um. I don't like my position at all. Tyranitar is going to come out. I don't know if you Aqua Jet my Hitmontop or if you Aqua Jet my Gardevoir now because you're threatened by both. <sighs> I'm going to protect Gardevoir and I think I have to hope. I have to sack something here. It was Charizard in the back, I wonder. Who do I sack? I well I can't sack Hydreigon and my opponent just goes for Aqua Gen that slot. I'm just gonna go Coco. Because Coco at least dresses the Azumaro and forces it to Aqua Jet that slot, and maybe I could hyper voice the following turn. Like if my opponent goes for Aqua Gen and the Gardevoir, that's fine because then I could Volt Switch the Azumaro and just hyper voice. But if it's weakness policy Tyranitar, that's a problem. If it dragging that's up, that's also an issue. So yeah, my opponent just got the offensive options right here. Perfect. Nice. This works out in my favor. This works out in my favor. I honestly just have to hope he's not weakness posse. I mean, or if it's not, or just don't flinch me. I'm going to hyper voice and volt switch the Azumarill slot. If Azumarill protects, I get the hyper voice on the Tyranitar and the Tyranitar knocks on my Coco. I get Azumar I get him on top back in and I can fake out the Azumarill, so that's fine. I just need to not be weakness policy on the Tyranitar set. And yeah, I kind of expected to protect, but like I feel like I'm in a better position if I don't knock out the Tyranitar here. Because like Eskidro could get a free switch in, and that Pokemon's really problematic for my team to handle. Oh, it's weakness policy. That's not good. Rock slide. Doesn't knock out Gardevoir though and doesn't put in Sand Range. Okay. So we should still be good because I can fake out plus Hyper Voice now. And that should knock out Azumaro after the Sand Damage chip and the fake out I'm going to get. It's just going to come down to whether Azumaro gets a double protect. I feel like if it gets a double protect I insta lose the game. So I'm going to have to hope for no double please. If you get it. You get it? Not much I can do. Like, this is the game plan I had to go for. So, Hyper Voice and Fake Out. Oh, my pawn doesn't go for the double and looks like it's sacking both Pokemon here? 
which is interesting. Maybe doesn't carry protect on Tyranitar or just decided uh, Tyranitar is not valuable anymore. But I get the knockout, which is really nice. So I get rid of both my opponent's Pokemon, and now only one Pokemon can remain from my opponent's side. And yeah, this is looking really good. Let's see what my opponent's last Pokemon is. If it's Escadrille, I just have to save him on top for the back. If it's yeah, it's Escadrille, perfect. If it was Charizard, I felt like I just stay in in Psychic Close Combat. But yeah, I can just Hyper Voice does more single target. And I can go out into Hydreigon. Like, if if my opponent had Tyranitar in the back, I would have probably had to stay in with him on top. But since Tyranitar decided not to protect, or maybe doesn't have protect, I got into a position where now I can switch out. Oh, is that Groundium? Oh, that's beautiful. Please have... Please be into the him on top slot. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was also another option because I thought maybe Z move is on Escadrille. I didn't expect. Well, to be honest, I wasn't. To be honest, like it was in the back of my mind. I didn't think it was. It wasn't the first thought that came out in my mind, but that works. Because I can Trick Room and Flamethrower here, and I should have the game. Uh, him on top should just win me this game, to be honest. And if not, like you can only KO one of my Pokemon. Maybe Rock Slide here, Flinch. That's fine. Because yeah, like even if you Rock Slide, Flinch my Hydreigon. And knock out Gardevoir right. I get him on top back in. I can just fake out the Escadrille. Go for Tailwind. And then the game's 100% over. Because Hydreigon will be able to outspeed the Escadrille. Because Sand would eventually end when Tailwind ends. So Hydreigon will always be faster than the Escadrille. So yeah. I would, I had the 100% win condition there. Uh, So yeah. Very nice. Like the game could have definitely went differently. If you know the Escadrille. If the Tyranitar did have Protects. Or protected right there because then like I think geez like I'm trying to think about like what could have happened and I'm thinking it would be really scary I think I would still have to make the same play because I can't lose him on top in the position I think I would still have to click hyper voice and switch out but if my opponent predicts that like it could have been a mess as we got Keegan 1622 rating with the team of Charizard top of Coco Cresselia Landis Faring Kangaskhan and Como Double Mega, which is interesting. I haven't really seen many Double Mega teams in general. Like Charizard and Kangaskhan are Pokemon that usually have to have a Mega Evolution in order to be viable, unless it's like AV Kangaskhan, I guess. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Coco's really good as a lead here. Coco him on top seems pretty good. Uh, Coco Hydreigon also looks really good against my opponent's team. I really like Coco Hitmontop. It's not weak to like one specific Pokemon from my opponent. Nogginandel doesn't do much work. It does outspeed Coco, but I mean, it doesn't outspeed Coco, but Nasty Paw could get me something. But I think Gardevoir Hydreigon is the better call. Like having a backup plan against Como and Hydreigon handles to Cresselia, as well as massive damage to Landis Farin with the Z move. Like, Aragorn could do really a lot of work under against my opponent if, like, Como wasn't there. Because in order to get Aragorn set up, I need to Trick Room, and that's not good for my Coco. It's okay for my Gardevoir. I don't know. I feel like Trick Room can be a viable strategy in this game. But we'll see what my opponent decides to do. Call Mine Cresselia is also really scary if it is Call Mine Cresselia. I don't know what kind of team sets my opponent has. Like, the only one I can anticipate is Como because there's usually only one Como set, and that's like the Z move. So let's see what Keegan's got. Team of Como Landis Varian to kick things off, which is perfect because I let him on top plus Coco, and I can gleam here freely. And I have Wide Guard for the Landers, so I'm not worried about the Landers at all. I get free damage on the Landers, I feel like. Because I don't think you're a double Z with Landers on this team. I think you're AV, and we're going to confirm that right now. Wait, is that Scarf Landers? I think it's Scarf Landers. I think it went before my Electric Terrain. We'll double check right here with Dazzling Gleam, plus Fake Out into the Lander slot. I think it is Scarf Landers. I feel like Landers might withdraw here. Como could withdraw 100%, but I feel like that'd be fine. Let's find out if it's Scarf Landers here. The withdrawal into Cresselia. Okay. 
Which means I get free damage onto the land. Yeah, it is Scarf Landers. Okay. Gleam does a good amount. I could Wide Guard, although... I think Wide Guard Volt Switch is very safe here. Or I could just protect Coco and go out into my Hydreigon. I like Hydreigon here a lot because one, uh, Darkium is looking like it can pick me up a KO. Onto Cresselia as well as avoid an Earthquake. My opponent U-turn, so be it. Like I still have Coco and that should threaten the Charizard and the Como in the back. I would assume, I don't know if you bring Charizard, you might, you might not. I'm going to bring in Hydreigon though. I think Hydreigon is just very solid here because it can threaten the Cresselia, which my Coco really can't do as well. And I'm just going to protect here. It's Earthquake. Perfect. And I'm hoping it's not Icy Wind because I could just, uh, why do I think it's Psychic or Calm Mind? Trick Room. Wait, doesn't that just allow me to Darkium to Cresselia and Gleam here and knock out the Landris? Which I think I will go for, since minus one doesn't even knock out Coco anyway. Okay. What's in the back? Did my opponent have anything Trick Room related? Trick Room Charizard? I'm confused. I get a Darkium and a Cresselia, I feel like. It's Ice Beam. Just don't freeze me. Nice. Whew, okay. So I'm going to get the knockout onto this Cresselia slot. Which is really nice. And then I get the KO land with Dazzling Gleam. So my opponent doesn't have switch-ins. But I guess a two back. Like Como could be scary. But I still have my Coco pretty healthy. And then what's my opponent's last Pokemon? It's either Kangaskhan or Charizard I feel like. Get the knockout land risk. Nice. I think it's what coming out. Charizard. And Como, okay. So I wonder if my opponent will go for the Z-move in this game, but you could also just like Focus Blast or just Clang Scales my Hydreigon slot, to be honest. Guard was looking really solid here. I think I sack Hydreigon because I really don't need it. I'll just try to get some damage on the Charizard slot right away and protect Coco because then I could get out my Hitmontop probably and just start clicking like fake out and then maybe just like switch out into um my uh Gardevoir because I think Gardevoir can threaten the Como. So Charizard Y gonna Mega Evolve. So five turns of sun starting now. Let's see. Drought's gonna activate Does Como just go for regular Clang Scales here, which is kind of what I'm anticipating. Charizard's slower than Como. Okay, that's good info. Hydreigon gonna be brought low. Gets a burn, doesn't really matter because I'm sacking. Yeah, just regular Clang Scales, which I agree with. Okay. So that works out for me because I get to go on a Hitmontop and I just click Fake Out into Charizard and I think I go out into Hitmontop on, I would assume a Double Protect because I don't think you risk any, I don't think you risk anything here. Because I don't, I wouldn't risk one of your Pokemon getting knocked out. Although you could be worried about Faint potentially, but if I have Faint, like, I should seal it up. Maybe you flamed over to, um, Top of Coco Slot if you think that. Uh, I would see either Double Flamethrower. Yeah, I would see Flamethrower Heat Wave here or Double Protect here. I'm going to fake out Charizard though because Flamethrower shouldn't do too much to Gardevoir anyway. And my position's still the same. Um, I could lose to Charizard Y in the end game though. I also really just don't want to lose to Como in the end game. Like I feel like I have what I need. I just have to get the knock. I just got to get one knockout. I just got to get one really big knockout. I'll be on Psychic should allow me to knock out Como though, and I will go for that play over Wide Guard in case the Charizard has like, uh, what's it called? 
flamethrower or overheat. So I'll go into Gardevoir here. As we trace soundproof. Almost gonna protect, I'm guessing. Ch oh, Charizard didn't, right? Yeah, that's fine. Like, I could have potentially knocked out Charizard, but that works for me too. Uh, comes down to whether Como gets a double protect or not. I think it really comes down to that, because if he does, I'm in a lot of trouble. But I go for the Psychic play, because if I knock out Como, I just win the game with my, uh... I just win the game with my, um... Coco? So I'll go for helping on Psychic here. So let's see if he goes for the double. And if not, I hope he goes for Heat Wave here so I can get a free switch into my Coco and threaten my opponent. But no double protect. Maybe my opponent thought I could live the Psychic. Uh, because Como does have some decent uh, defenses. But yeah, that should secure me the game. Heat Wave going to come out and I get my Jex button. So even if he got the double, like I got Coco in. And then I could just uh, Thunderbolt the Charizard. Or I could Gleam there to be honest. There are a lot of things I could have done. But I think I would have had the game secured. Especially thanks to my opponent not getting the double. I get Coco in and I just fire off a Thunderbolt here. Should be able to pick up a guaranteed KO. Yeah, I just Psychic. Thunderbolt. Like Thunderbolt Life Orb, but there's no Charizard. I don't think that survives this. Especially with the bit of chip you took. Thunderbolt going to come out into Charizard and that will be able to pick up a knockout. So I get rid of Charizard. Great. So we're going to go and pick up... That's our second win, I believe. I actually can't remember. But we're going to pick up a win. Nice, nice. So everything's been working out. I think we'll grab one more game. Yeah, I'll try for one more game, to be honest. I'm going to see. I'm going to try out for one more game. We'll see how this works. So yeah, let's just find one. And I don't know. I think it's been working. Like Kimon has been doing a lot of work. I feel like all the Pokemon have been working really well individually. It's just been hard to set up like certain spots. Doesn't help like my Talent lead is... Uh, it doesn't help my Talent lead is like double weak to Fairy. Maybe I should put Talent on the Noggin Adele. But <sighs> Nasty Plot's been doing so much work when I have brought it. So I'm honestly not sure. As we find Nemo from the United States, 1585 rated player as our last opponent for the day. We got the team. Oh, this is protect the Porygon Z team, isn't it? I don't do well against this. Um... I think I go Gardevoir Coco here with him on top in the back and Nagin Adele. Yeah. A rock when it can't really be brought because Amoongus is annoying as well as Feeny. And I'm pretty sure both those Pokemon are going to be brought in this game. I see Kangaskhan, Porygon Z, Amoongus, and the Feeny. I don't know. You could bring Coco. You could justify it. I think if I was my opponent, I would bring Kangaskhan, Porygon Z, Amoongus, and Feeny. I don't think Volk does much work against my team, so that's why I don't think Volk would be brought here. Especially if it doesn't carry Bug Buzz. And yeah, like Coco's alright against my team, but I'm not sure if he would bring it because it might not be able to pick up knock well, it picks up the knockout on a rock it if it's life or a Z move. And picks up the knockout onto my Hydreigon. But it doesn't pick up a knockout on anything else and then just takes a lot of damage. So we'll find out what my opponent decides to opt for here. I could see Amoongus leading. It's going to be Kangaskhan Porygon Z, which is probably better for me. I don't trick him here because... Actually, I could trick him, can I? Ooh, I get Inner Focus. Oh, that means my opponent can't fake out Gardevoir if I decide to Mega Evolve here. That's actually pretty big, because I'll Psychic. Go out and hit him on top? Since I think you're forced to Volt Switch my... I don't think you would fake out 
I don't think he would target on my Gardevoir slot with Fake Out. I think he would target on Coco. Coco threatens a knockout on Porygon Z potentially. I'm going to go into Hitmon top here. I'm going to go into Hitmon top just because, one, I can get the Intimidate off on a Kangaskhan as well as uh, Eject Button out. Maybe get Nagnadel in, depending on how much Hyper Voice does. I'm pretty sure it's Z conversion Porygon Z. I can't do anything about it, though. Mega Ball from Kangaskhan. I'd be really shocked if my opponent actually went for the uh, God of a Slot, but we'll see. I might have to sack Coco here, which would be fine, to be honest. Alright. Mega Evolve. Because my opponent's never getting Spore up. Fake out. Yeah, into Hitmon top. I feel like this would be Ghost Porygon Z. I feel like it would be Ghost Porygon Z. Oh, if it's Ghost Porygon Z, I can't fake out. Oh, that could be bad. I'll find out. Get Coco in. It is Z move. I don't think it's Breakneck Blitz. It should be Z conversion. If it is Breakneck Blitz, I think I... I don't think I lose off the bat, but that makes the game really difficult. Yeah, it's Z conversion. What type are you? Looks like electric. Oh, it's ghost type. Okay. Hyper voice. Does to a KO to Porygon Z. <sighs> if I was my opponent, I would switch Kangaskhan out in Amoongus and protect Porygon. I think I Psychic the Kangaskhan and Thunderbolt just because like you're threatening with Porygon Z from both sides. Yeah. I would not let Porygon Z go down here. Yeah, you're going to withdraw Kangaskhan. Show me Amoongus. Yep. I could double up Amoongus, but then that allows my opponent to get a fake out. And yeah, you're going to protect. Okay, that works. Maybe I should have doubled up the Amoongus though. We'll find out. Ugh, because if it's 50% better, it's going to heal back. Oh, it's Payapa. Hmm. I changed his things. I think two life orb dazzling gleams will put Porygon Z in range though. <sighs> I have to make the 50 50 of who he targets, but I'm pretty sure you target on Gardevoir because Gardevoir can get Trick Room up still and can Hyper Voice knock out your Porygon Z. I'm going to protect Gardevoir and Gleam here. If you target down my uh, Coco, good play. But yeah, I think you always Rage Powder and you go for the Shadow Ball into Gardevoir because I don't think you risk anything. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get a Gleam off. Yeah, perfect. I don't need Garfor in this game because I don't think it helps against anything. Yeah, it really doesn't help against anything. So I'll sack Gardevoir here by just Hyper Voice and Gleaming here. I will gladly sack my Gardevoir here. For the trade on Porygon Z, if Porygon Z protects, I get to go for a Gleam... And knock out the Porygon Z. So we're going to see the switch out from Amoongus into Kangaskhan. Which was something I thought my opponent could do. But I didn't expect it here because... Yeah. Because you lose your Porygon Z here. I mean not Porygon Z. I trade for your Kangaskhan. Which is nice because that's fake out out of the way. I mean you might have got like the healing back. But I don't feel like that's bad for me at all. So I'll trade for this knockout for sure. I wonder if my opponent's trying to get Feeny back in or just wanted the health with Amoongus. Either way, this works out for me. I wonder if it's Sludge Bomb. Feeny's coming in, okay. I just click Hyper Voice and I click Gleam. I get chip damage that I need and I'm not going to Del for the Feeny. So I'll just Hyper Voice and... Do I Gleam or Volt Switch here? Because getting him on top in with Nagnadel at the same time could be really good. I'm going to Volt Switch. I don't think I need the immediate damage on Feeny yet. Shadow Ball going to come out. Target down my Coco? Yeah, okay. That's that's perfect, actually. That's perfect. Oh, I didn't think Psych Up would be a thing. I thought it'd be Calm Mind. Okay. Still not bad, though. Still not bad, actually. I get him on top in. Oh, the protect might be. In, I mean, 
The Psycho might be annoying here. I think Amoongus is in range of Helping Hand Psychic. Which I do want to go for. I'll just Trick Room and Fake Out. I'm not sure if you risk any... F I'm not sure if you risk your Amoongus or your Feeny. You might double protect here. So Feeny is going to protect. Does Amoongus protect? Yes, perfect. Perfect. That's the best turn I could have asked for because now I can Psychic the Amoong Helping Hand Psychic the Amoongus. Pick up that knockout. And then Nagana Del should just be able to win. Perfect. I get Trick Room up. I actually can't tell Nagnadel is going to underspeed the Feeny though. <laughs> I guess that's something that's in, that's a flaw in my game plan if it doesn't work out. We'll find out though. I'm going to Helping Hand and Psychic. Sludge Bomb going to come out. So I'm guessing it's a targeting down. Yeah, okay. So maybe my opponent's trying to double up the Gardevoir slot. But if I just get rid of Zamungus, which I'm pretty sure I do since... It, yeah. Get the knockout. Perfect. Whew. Moonblast going to come out. In a Gardevoir. I'm hoping that knocks out, to be honest. Ah, <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. But I guess it's fine still. I can help me end Hyper Voice. And get Chip on. Actually, no. This should still work in my favor. Because I'm pretty sure Sludge Bomb should still be on Naka Fini. Unless it has Calm Mind again for some reason. Help me end Hyper Voice. It's single target. <sighs> I'm actually glad the special attack might have ha drop might have happened because I might have actually put it in berry range now that I'm thinking about it. By accident. Hyper voice. Yeah, because I would have put it in berry range. Okay. Muddy water. Gardevoir voice the attack. Uh, I actually would have preferred it to hit Gardevoir because I could helping hand Muddy water. I mean, help. Yeah, I could just helping hand uh, Sludge Bomb the following turn and that would guarantee me the game. Unless it's an accuracy drop, but whatever. I'm going to Helping Hand Hyper Voice. What if the Feeny doesn't have Protect? Because he's not going for it. Trying to stall out my Trick Room turns or anything. It does have Protect. Okay. This could come down to, like, uh, one of the chances with, like, Moonblast or Muddy Water. Secondary effect. Actually, I think Helping Hand Hyper Voice should still knock out since Trick Room's over. Maybe if he gets a double. I wonder if he'll go for the double, though. So, Helping Hand Hyper Voice. What I was going to do next turn... I wonder what I do next turn. Do I... Because, let's say he got... The, my opponent got the double. Maybe, like, installed out Trick Room. I think he would go for Muddy Water there. May, or maybe you would Wound Blast. Maybe I try to Trick Room and Wide Guard so I save Hitmontop. Because you definitely have to target Guard in that position. So maybe what I could have done was Wide Guard force him to Moon Blast my Guard War slot. He could Moon Blast my, uh, uh, my Nagnadel. But I don't think you should in that case. And then maybe try to help me at Sludge Bomb pick up the KO. But we do win that game. It was just... I didn't think we had much of a matchup. But luckily I was just able to call out my opponent on every attack. Which is... Something that was really good because basically I anticipated the four Pokemon my opponent would bring. I was able to, because I play Protect like the setup mon a lot. I I play a lot of it, so I know how like they usually think. Uh, because I played a lot of Protect the Azu in 2015 or Protect the Cresselli or Protect whatever. And yeah, it's like very scary. You have to make very accurate reads with that. And I felt like Gardevoir was the most threatening because you were worried about the spread damage that was guaranteed to knock out. The Porygon Z, if, and yeah, it just ended up working out for me because I was just able to call out every my all of my opponent's switches, so ended up working out. But thank you everyone for tuning in today's episode of VGC 2018 Back to Battles. If you did like it, please leave a like down below, show support, as well as you can check out my social medias down below. You can check out the rest of my stuff, such as the playlist down below, the team pace bin, which is down below in the description as well. My sides here is on the channel, my Twitch channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you all for tuning in. I will catch you around in another video. Have a great day, people. See you around next time.